Hi guys, I hope you're having a super duper great day. I am, kinda. First off, I just have to apologize because of the camera. I can't like get it in the right position, so maybe there's like weird angle going on. I'm not entirely sure, probably not sure. But yeah, um, I'm making this video due to a few comments that I've received lately. Um, these past two months, I think, um, there's like people outside. I can't do anything about that, maybe you hear that, maybe you not. But anyways, these past weeks, months, I have received comments, a lot of comments due to the fact that I published some videos talking about my SRS complications and the revisions that I've done and so on. And I have received comments saying that I regret my decision of having the SRS, that I'm lying, that I'm not truthful when I say that I don't regret my SRS and so on. And honestly, there are a few regrets uh, not directly due to the SRS, but a few other regrets that I thought that I really wanted to talk about in this video because I've I've thought about it a lot and I I started doing TikTok recently. I started publishing more TikToks and when I did that, something just popped up in my head. I decided maybe I'm going to do a TikTok or like a video about this because I it has been on my mind lately and honestly I just really want to get it on my chest so I have a few regrets honestly okay I'm just going to talk I'm not going to do a lot of edits in this video I'm just going to speak from my heart and this might be like a chit chat me just like opening up about being trans and the, and the regrets that I have and so on. So yeah, maybe maybe that's not really fun. I'm sorry if this video was not as fun as you hoped for, but honestly, I just thought that I talk a little bit. So yeah, what I was talking about. I've I've done a few videos talking about me hating being trans and I wouldn't say that I hate being trans absolutely not I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want to come close to that honestly I I don't love being trans but honestly I do love my life I love the people in my life I love my dog I love my fiance I love my friends and I wouldn't trade that for anything so obviously it's like the butterfly effect um, you know, if I wouldn't have been trans, I wouldn't have met the people I have and so on. And honestly, I would be a completely different person. If I was born a cisgender person, I wouldn't be the same person I am today, obviously, because the same things wouldn't have happened to me and I would have different experiences and maybe I would even be transphobic. I have no idea. Like, I don't know. That person and I I would be a completely different one and I love the person I am so you could say I love being trans I don't love the experience in itself um, I've had I think if you're trans you've had a lot of inner discussions with yourself and like an inner dialogue what it really means like for you and it's traumatizing at best if I'm going to be completely honest like the moment I realized I was trans obviously I was happy because I could finally like put words to the thoughts I had and I could finally like transition because I really I understood what was wrong with me but also that was a hard thing all in all of its own transitioning coming to terms with who I was, like telling people and everything like that. So obviously it was a traumatic experience if I'm going to be completely honest, but I'm also in in one way happy that that happened to me because I've grown as a person. I was forced to grow up pretty early on and I've been through things other people haven't and that has made me, you know, a better person and so on. So. 
And also I love the trans community. I think that us as a community is like wonderful and amazing. Obviously there are a few bad apples in every community and that's the same with our community. I've I've realized that since I started doing YouTube. 99% of all the people I've met in the community are amazing, but there are also pretty toxic people out there that can throw around the term transphobic for no reason. Like I've been called transphobic because I used the wrong term like for my own transition, which is obviously kind of weird because how can I be transphobic when I'm a trans person? And obviously I do everything in my power to help other trans people. Obviously, I work at a hospital being a support person for other trans people. I'm not transphobic in the slightest. So yeah, obviously there are toxic people in every community, but like 99% of all the people in our community are amazing and lovely and I love all of you. Um, <laughs> I'm like going on a rant here and that was not my intention. I was talking about regret. And yes, I do have a few regrets. I have regrets regarding not removing my Adam's apple earlier. I still haven't gotten around to it. I'm waiting for um, a date to schedule the surgery. And I also do have regrets regarding my SRS, not like going through with the bottom surgery. I'm so happy and I'm pretty happy with the results. But sometimes I wish I asked about like the complications a little bit more beforehand they talked me through all of the complications like they really tried to do their best in like like informed consent but also some things they talked about some things and other things they didn't they didn't really cover complications that could happen like 10 years from now there are complications that can happen to you like 10 years down the line. They talked more about like two, three years after having the surgery. They did talk about a lot of complications like in infections and like things like opening up and like disgusting things. They did, they did their, like they did their thing. So it's not their fault. I think what I regret the most is not asking a lot of questions. I just like every time they and every time they asked me like, is this okay? Are you ready? Are you sure? I just said yes without having a follow up. I didn't ask anything. I wasn't interested, I guess. I just wish I'd done a little bit more research. So when things did happen, I could have been a little bit more prepared. That's what I'm saying because like when things started going down, I didn't seek help. I didn't talk to my surgeon or anything because honestly, I thought that it was normal and it wasn't. So I walked around with like complications down there without getting help for like a long time. And that thing, and that made things worse. You should seek help, like immediate help when things are wrong. And I didn't. And if I would have been a little bit more prepared, maybe I would have seeked help earlier than what I did. So that's a regret I have and something else I really regret, like my biggest regret, my biggest regret I've ever had is not transitioning earlier. When I realized I was trans, I talked to my mom pretty, you know, early on and she, she helped me find a therapist that could help me transition and so on. So it all worked out just fine, but I just wish I would have transitioned earlier because honestly I kind of realized earlier than 15 that I was trans. I didn't really have the words for being trans. I just walked around with a feeling that something was wrong but at the age of 15 I saw a documentary that talked about being trans and I realized that that was the problem. Like that was me. And then I got help and I was not really, I was not a force in any capacity, in any way, shape or form. I was kind of like in the back seat, letting my mom help me with everything. I just wish 
that I would have gotten in the front seat being like, I want this done, I want help with this, like talking to a therapist being like, you need to help me with this, this and this, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. I was just kind of like going along with the ride and every time the therapist asked me questions like you know here in Sweden we have a long process when you want to transition we meet a lot of therapists psychologists like doctors everything and they ask you a lot of questions and obviously I answer them because I wouldn't be here otherwise but I I just wish I would have been more like hey um yeah is there any possibility to get the hormones like earlier in this like process I was just like waiting and I didn't do my absolute best I know that I was young I was like 15 16 so I was afraid I was scared that is that is pretty obvious but I just wish like this is your life like you're going to go through puberty you need you need your hormones before that so yeah, that's my biggest regret. And also, I just regret not telling anyone about my feelings before the age of 15. If I would have told my mom, Mom, I don't feel like a boy, but I don't know what is wrong with me. Maybe she would have helped me. And actually, I think that she would have because she was like helpful <laughs> when I told her that I was trans. I just wish I would have told something earlier, like before I got the term transgender into my head. I just wish I would have come to the terms that I was like the person I am before. And I think that that is a regret many trans people have. And you need to come to terms with that you can't change the past. You can't do anything about that. Obviously, it would have been amazing, over the moon, like breathtakingly beautiful if I would have transitioned earlier, but I didn't and I can't do anything about that. I'm not going to live with a lot of regrets. I don't think that's... I don't think that's the way to be happy. Um, I think it's better to be like, that happened. I can't do anything about that. However, what I can do now is I can look forward. I can I can do my best. I can do my absolute best in trying to get like the most amazing life I can with the things I have like now. And it's not going to be beneficial for anyone just like sitting moping around because something happened to you like a long time ago. It's better to do what you can to move forward and that has kind of been my mindset lately or like the last few years I've really tried to be more positive and trying to do what's best for me and not think about the things that happened in the past because honestly I can't do anything about that so why why would I like ever want to think about that too much but like sometimes it gets to me even if I'm trying to be positive even if I even if, even if I do like my absolute best in trying to, you know, look forward and be positive. But sometimes it just gets to me, you know? Sometimes when I look at myself in the mirror, I see a man and I'm like, why the hell didn't you transition earlier? Like, why didn't you? This would have been a problem, like this wouldn't have happened, like you didn't need to do that, blah, blah, blah. It's like a lot of things that I think about when the gender dysphoria comes like crawling like a monster um because that's honestly what I what gender dysphoria feels like sometimes you can be like happy and like having the best time over your life and then like all of a sudden you're hit with gender dysphoria and like and especially since I started doing YouTube, I edit these videos and it's like I see myself in a different light and I just like, ugh, I make a little, like that. And I'm not trying to like fish for compliments. That is not at all what I'm saying. I don't feel like compliments can really help you when you have gender dysphoria. I feel like, you know, confidence comes from within 
not from the outside so when I have these like low dips and when I feel disgusting and when I feel like a man I try to you know help myself up I try to do my absolute best in you know manifesting <laughs> and telling myself that I'm beautiful, that I'm worthy, that I'm valid, that I'm smart and that I've come a long way and it doesn't really help anyone. Me just like moping around, being sad all the time, so... But yeah, sometimes it's hard. I feel it's like that for everyone, I guess. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's more difficult, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I did this video. I felt like I really wanted to, I guess. I wanted to just open my heart up, talk to you a little bit, have a little chit chat. I think sometimes this feels like my diary and I can talk to you. And when I talk to you, it's not here anymore. It's like not trapped inside my head. I can like open up. You get me. But yeah, I think that was everything. I just wanted to yeah, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit. But thank you so much for watching. And I promise you, next one will be a little bit more upbeat. So yeah, bye guys.